Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to finish up getting the axle under Karma. Um, to be perfectly honest with y'all, I had to take a small uh, hiatus, um, but I'm back today. Uh, for you guys, it's just going to be the next week, so you won't really know, but in all transparency. But we're going to get it under there today. We'll get the control arms on. We'll get the rotors on. We'll get the uh, new brake calipers on, hopefully. Uh, springs in, shocks in. And maybe even get the uh, steering components all put in. I don't know. We'll see what we got for time. Um, let me show you what we got in, or what we've done so far. So... Since last time you guys seen it, it was sitting uh, back here on the jack stands. So me and Damien um, just threw the tires on it, rolled it under there. As you can see, the uh, diff is kind of pointing in the wrong direction. But that don't matter. I'll fix that when I crawl under there here in a minute. Um, but it's kind of sort of in place. Not really, but it's close enough that one guy can do it on his own. Um, it, it's not really going to be all that bad. So let's crawl under there and get started. Okay. Uh, see if we can get this bolt to go through this hole. Didn't want to, but. Huh. Yeah. I don't understand that, but. It's like something's out of whack. Get us a pry tool in here. I bet that goes through a little better. Oh yeah, look at that. Like a glove. All right, so again. Uh, we're gonna, there we go. There's that. That'll be good for now when we get on the ground and stuff. Everything on its own weight. That's when we'll tighten all that stuff up. So, okay, I'm going to jump on the other side and do the same thing. And then I'll come back at you and we'll get this axle semi-attached. All right, guys. So, we got it on on the other side. I grab this bad mamma jamma. I roll it up. Uh -oh. That's probably it's probably a hole. Oh yeah, it's hit my finger too. Go kick it. Yep. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Uh, I think this two. Come down. Almost lined up. And they go in just like that, boys and girls. All right. I'll spin you around so y'all can see that side. Alrighty. We are going to move that breather hose just up out of the way for now. I'm going to rotate this tire back. Roll the wheel. You don't have to put no leverage on it. It's there. Okay. All right, we're gonna get baby Thor. There we go. And for all you Marvel fans, yes, I know, it should be baby Molnir, but Thor just sounds better. At least in this situation. All right, look at that. It's all party and loosely in place. All right, so. What I'm going to do now is get a jack under it and get these wheels out and under it. That way we can drop it down and uh, put the uh, springs in. So give me a minute and I'll do that. Alrighty. So after some shuffling, we're ready. Ugh. 
Let's see what we got here. All right, got our shock, or our spring, rather, and an axle that is entirely too high. All right, let's try that. Oh yeah, we can get that in there. Make sure you keep your spring in the uh, where it goes. All right, gonna have to raise her back up. All righty. Yep, springs where it's supposed to be seated. I know it looks a little off right now, but once we get everything in there. Make sure the end of your spring is set up against the uh, edge of the bucket. You're good up here. Don't forget your little pull down. All right, and I like to leave everything just kind of hand tight until I can get it down on its own weight and everything's, <clears throat> excuse me, in place. That way, if I need to adjust anything, I don't have anything typically binding. So, I'm going to go get the spring on the other side, and then we'll do the shocks. There she goes. Here's the nut. And that's how you cheat and do that one. Oh, got a, I got a light binding, y'all. I'm sorry. Alrighty. So then we'll... Uh... I don't really remember which side this goes on. I don't think it matters. But we'll just lift up. And we need to kick the axle forward. No, no. All right. Uh, oh, I know what it is. I'm going to have to jack it up. Okay guys, so I got the springs in, I got the upper control arms in. Uh, let's be honest, it was a pain. And I got to struggling, couldn't figure it out, so I turned off the camera and just stood back and looked at it. Figured out what I needed to do. Um, I was getting frustrated, let's be honest. So... I didn't turn the camera back on, but I got it all in. Let me show you what I got so far, and then we'll go on, we'll move on to shocks. As you can see down in there with all that beautiful blue, the upper's on, the lower's on, the spring is in and secured down both sides. So now we're gonna get set up and we're gonna put the shocks in. I'm on my own, so trying to maneuver all this is being a little bit of a pain with no tires on, but no biggie. We will persevere. So let's get you over here, show you how to do this, and get her done. All right, so naturally the bottom goes here, top goes there. We have some KYB stock replacement. He's Rock Auto. That's right. So um, you're going to start with putting, I already got it mashed on there, uh, one of the flat. Uh, washers and a grommet on so when you poke it up through there oh sorry up through this hole you got something on the other side we'll show you how to do the top here in a minute then you got two bolts it's gonna hold it in the bottom so we're nowhere near high enough but that's okay go ahead and put our bolt through there there we go and we'll reach up here, maybe. Let me go grab a wrench and a socket and we will snug that up some. Sorry guys, I thought I had everything. Clearly not. This part is pretty self-explanatory. You 
get on your nut, hold your bolt. All right, and then we'll do the other one. Keep going, keep going. All right, all right guys, let me move you up here so we can see what's going on. Pretty sure y'all can see. Okay, so grommet, washer, bevel side down. I'm sure that nut right there is not the size I have. So, you know, because why would it? Nope, it's a 14. Now, the way I do these. I go down till it starts to mushroom. I know you can't see that, but it's starting to squish. And then once it's on its own weight, we'll see how everything's gonna actually sit. Then we'll tighten it or loosen it up if we need to. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side and we'll come back and start working on something else. I think brakes. Okay guys, so I think I have everything over here. And I'm looking now, and I clearly don't, but we'll come back to the soft lines. They're going to take some Torx bit, but whatever. So first thing we're going to do is wipe down this rotor, get all the packing grease and whatever the crap is they put on it in order to keep it from rusting until we buy them and do all that. No biggie. Any of y'all that have ever changed your own brakes know all this. And again, in case this is the first video you're watching or you don't remember, we got all this stuff from Rock Auto. It's all just factory replacement. Uh, for the most part, actually, I apologize, I stand corrected. For the brakes, we did do the power. Uh, it's power stop, but it's like, let's be honest, bottom of the barrel, uh, this is going to be a daily driver. He isn't going to off-road it as of right now. So there's no sense in putting, you know, $400 set of brakes on. It is power stop, so we know it's good stuff. Um, the uh, rotors and the... Uh, High speed uh, <laughs> calipers are all uh, power stop. For brakes, we just got some cheap. Uh, oh, these are the power stop Evolution Plus. I need to quit saying cheap because evidently I don't know what I'm talking about. These are Z17 ceramic pads. Woohoo! Any of you people out there are knife people. That is an Ontario Knife Company, Rat One. I know when I watch videos, I'm like, what kind of knife is that? I like that. So, figure I'll throw it out there for you. These are your squealers. Uh, typically, they're made on the brake. Or at least I call them squealers. That's what I always grew up hearing them called. Call them squealers because, well, when you need brakes, they squeal and yell and holler and let you know. To be perfectly honest, I have no friggin' idea where these go. So, I'm not going to use them. There we go. 
Now with these, they say we got to do uh, 30 decelerations from 30 miles an hour down to uh, 5 miles an hour with 30 seconds in between uh, slowdowns in order to break them in. So take you a couple mile drive after you get them bullied and all that and through a neighborhood or something somewhere where you ain't gonna bother nobody and do your stops. You put the right stuff on, things go together a whole lot better. These ones are 12. the tool that I need to take off this and disconnect this hard line and then we'll come back and finish this side okay guys so I've just sat back down I thought I lost my wrench so got a 3 8 line here we're gonna go ahead and undo it And if you've been watching, you know my master cylinder is probably out because I filled a water bottle full of, of uh, brick fluid because, well, I didn't think of a better way to do it. Whatever. Alright, so that's loose, probably right in my way, so it'll be perfect. There we go. Then on this one, I have a T, what the crap, 40 <clears throat> bolt holding it, so. <coughs> That's that. Out with the old. Supposedly, this is the right one. <coughs> Excuse me. Perfection, run that three eighths again. There it is. Yeah, we'll tighten it up when it's done. Make sure that's in there. Yeah. Good and tight. I'm gonna tighten this down until it stops moving, and then a quarter turn. Not really. Good and snug, that's all you need. Okay. Take the little plug out of the back. You put brass washer on. Okay. So, that goes through there. That goes on there, your second one. And then tighten her down, man. And then my banjo bolt is a 14. Boys and girls, that's it other than putting a tire on. I mean, we got to bleed brakes and still grease everything, but other side works the same exact way. So I'm going to stop here and hop on the other side and do the same thing. And then I'll come back and holler at you. Okay, guys. So there it is. This side's all done as well. Nice pretty shocks. I know that sun's a little horrible. Can't see nothing. 
there we go uh, all done so the only thing we are missing is we got to put the sway bar on um, and the new bushings for it and then the drag link the tie rods all that um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the next video that we do on karma um, it may not I got help coming tomorrow we may just try and stab that motor in finally um, if not um, it's gonna be getting all the uh, the last bit of the suspension it or not suspension but the uh, steering components and uh, changing out all the u-joints and stuff on the front drive shaft and then I don't know we got a lot to do and we're gonna get there but I want to say you know thanks for coming and stopping by and watching I really do appreciate it um, I hope if this is your first time we've earned your uh, subscription if not let me know what we can do to help you know get that done but for everybody else remember like and subscribe share it does help us little guys um, but until then I'll see y'all next Friday. Bye.